Chair. He can just go ahead. So when this... Mr Chair. 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 Mr Chair. Calvin Davis. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, uh, Keith Locke says we should push the commencement date out 10 years. Carol Beaumont says 15 years. I say let's push it out a century because I think, I think what we, even in 100 years' time we're not going to have more than a handful of people who are complaining about the whole secret ballot thing. In fact, why don't we just push it out a millennium? Why don't we just push it out a thousand years? Because in that time, there's still only going to be a handful, if that, of people who, are abs- who actually um, feel the need for this bill, uh, other than Tau Henare and perhaps a few thousand of his, uh, his descendants who will be wanting to maintain Papa Tau's legacy of, uh, of uh, giving it to the workers. Mr, Mr Chair, Keith Rock was, was right. This is about the national government uh, interfering in the intimate workings of a voluntary organisation. Now, why on earth would they want to do that? And who's going to be next? Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels. Sorry, you can't have cabbage on Tuesdays. You've got to have peas. This is going to be the, the national government's next step into interfering in other voluntary organisations and, and what they're going to do. After that will be victim support. After that will be the Boy Scouts. After that, who knows? The, the world is at Tau Henare's mercy here and in interfering with voluntary organisations around the world. It will be VSA next. You know, sorry, you can't go to Tonga for your voluntary service abroad. You're going to have to go to Kiribati. That's, that is going to be the legacy. Uh, the, it's the start of something big for Tau Henare. Let's start with the unions first of all. Let's interfere with the voluntary, uh, with the with the workings of this voluntary organisations, and let's 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 deal to the unions. Then we can uh, take on the rest of the world, rest of the the voluntary organisations. It's. It's a, it's a nonsense bill. There actually isn't a need for this bill, as we've already outlined in the, um, in the, in the title clause of this bill. <clears throat> and as well, this is, this is, there's an imbalance here. There's a lack of fairness. And we want to know what it is about the National Party that they don't understand fairness. I mean, their tax isn't fair. Their tax cuts for the wealthy are not fair. And here's another thing that's not fair. Unions are going to have to have uh, these um, uh, secret ballots, and yet employers won't have to. Order. S- commencement. Commencement. <laughs> so again, within a thousand years of the commencement of, of this bill, <coughs> employers, employers will not actually have to conduct secret ballots of their stakeholders for uh, when they want to lock out uh, the, the, these horrible union, these horrible union workers. So uh, not within 10 years, not within a decade, not within 15 years, not within a century, not within a millennium will the employers have to do what Tau Henare wants the unions to have to do, and that is hold these secret ballots. For what reason? For what purpose? Oh, the bullying, he says. The bullying. Well, uh, there's a story about the, the, the pot in the kettle, and I'm not sure which one Mr Henare wants to be in, when it comes to, to bullying, because his attitude, his overbearing attitude, is, uh, is exactly what he's, he's accusing unions of, it, of, uh, of doing. So what's, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Fairness, Mr Williamson, fairness. There is nothing fair about this when you're expecting a voluntary organisation to have to have secret ballots, but you don't. You don't uh, the National Party isn't expecting the employers to actually hold secret ballots of their stakeholders when they want to lock out, uh, lock out workers. And that's what... That's a, that's a fairness. There's a lack of fairness there. And again, the National Party doesn't understand fairness. Their tax cuts for the wealthy... That wasn't fair when the, when the wealthy get a $1,000 a week uh, uh, tax cut and then the low paid workers get something like 25 cents an hour in their tax, cut, in their tax cuts. So Mr Chair, the, the, the commencement date, I feel it doesn't matter how far out we push it, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference whether it's one year as it says here in the, in the bill or whether it's 10 years or 15 a century, a millennium, it's not 
going to make a difference because there isn't a problem. As Jacinda Ardern has so eloquently put, this is a bill looking for a problem bill. It's, there is nothing here that is going to be remedied by, by actually commencing this bill at any stage. Jo Good Hugh. I move that the question be now put. Uh, Chris Farfoy. Oh, thank you very much.